right, this is episode four, Crushing Through Life. Saga continues. I'm Rob, and this is my friend, Jim. Jim, hey, hey. hey buddy. Not bad, Robbie. How about you? Not too bad. You know, I was just thinking, since the beginning of this year, we started something very special. And that is something as simple as a WhatsApp group that keeps us disciplined. And just just reflecting back on that, like what we do, I guess I should explain what the group is, just assuming that everyone knows our, our day-to-day lives here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a very um, secret elite to uh, yeah. group chat. No one knows about it. Yeah. Um, so the first rule what, is you did not talk about it. <laughs> uh, Jim and I have started a, a, a workout group with, uh, with another friend of ours um, called Daily Workout. And essentially what we do to keep us on top of our game, and I, I can't remember if we, I mentioned this on no, any previous episode, but we... we hey, that's the first one, I think you did. Yeah, but we, uh, we basically just, uh, we work out every single day. Half an hour get your heart rate up there to 120 uh, BPM at least. And, you know, spend that half an hour doing a workout. And uh, what, as soon as you're done in a workout, you start at the number one. Then you go to number two the next day. The next day is number three. Every single day, do a 30-minute workout and increment your number. And what that's done is basically create something so stupidly simple <laughs> that keeps uh-huh. you on top of your discipline, right? You want to work out, you want to get strong, you want to you want to lose a bunch of weight. Weight for me, like uh, for me specifically, um, you know, see, seeing seeing some even for like our other friend and, and, and you when you when you guys increment your number before me, it's like oh shit, man, I gotta get I gotta get back in there. Yeah, you gotta get back, gotta in, get the back in the game. <laughs> But it's been how long has it been since like six months or something like that? Since I've joined, well, yeah, it's been like we're halfway through the year. But I joined it later, um, and I really wasn't working out, and and this got me into to doing it. It'd be like, you know, it's five o'clock. I just worked. I just kind of want to lounge around, but but now I, you know, I, I make sure that I I make time for this, and I feel way better after doing. It. There's times where, you know, I'm I halfway through and. I'm like, oh, it would just be so easy to stop. But, um, you know, I just keep going. And then um, first thing I do is write in that group chat and, you know, I've got another one done. And then there's, you know, positive reviews come back like, well done, buddy. Keep it up. Good job. Whatever we say to each other. Other yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just like a nice pat on the back is what it is. It's like, you know, if we were working out together, we'd give each other high fives. Like, good job today, buddy. Yeah, absolutely. Um for it, man, I was just thinking about it too. Like the previous episode, I was talking about you know vacation, and even throughout that week, I knew I'm gonna eat chips, I'm gonna <laughs> eat chocolate, I'm gonna be drinking with my wife. Yeah, it's like I still need to keep up with this group, right? Mm-hmm. And I think that is also a great thing that keeps you in check, even in times where you're not gonna necessarily want to do it. Um, you need to do it. You need to, I mean, we're in, we're in our early thirties. We're, we're not, you know, we're not, uh, 19 years old anymore. Our bodies are beginning to hurt a lot more getting up in the morning. But, yep. They, you know? It's not what it used to be. That's for not sure. what it used to be. Man, people used to say that all the time. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, it'll happen to you when you get this age. And I'd be like, no, it's, it's not. Shut I'm up. And now it's like, <laughs> you don't get my body. You don't tell me how much, how the human body works. And now drinking, it's like, drinking hurts now. <laughs> for, for me more when I, when I drink, I don't really, like I've never really been a, a hangover guy, but I just get so tired. And then I, I yeah. just, like, I just get so tired. It's like not a real sleep, I guess. And then, you know, the next day is wasted. And and those are the ones that the most where I'm like, I really don't want to do a workout. And then when I finish it, I feel so good. Like I'm just, you know, it's just a mental, yes. um, just a mental push. And then, cause that's what it, like you're, you know, I could do the physical stuff, but it's like getting over the hurdle of just doing it. And then, you know, I see that you guys did it or, um, you know, if one of you did it and the other one's like, hey, I'm doing mine right now or I'm doing it after work. I'm like, all right, I, I just got to get this done here. Keep up. <laughs> I can't, I can't let these boys win. Yeah. Yeah. There's that little bit of competition. 
right? And I think... Yeah, but it's like, it's not really so much competition because we're all, it's not like I worked out more than you. It's... Right. We, we just... We push each other. Like, you're right. It's like friendly competition. Be like, buddy, you didn't work out today. What's going on? Yeah, what's, what's going wrong? on? Yeah, Something sick? happened. Yeah. <laughs> sick? Yeah, for sure, man. Um, man, and there's been times too where... I'm starting a workout and I'll, and I'll do a stretch and I'm looking at my wife and I'm just like, Oh God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this workout. And every time she's like, you're going to feel so much better when you get it done. And she's right. You know, you can, you can moan and complain so much, but when you finish that workout, man, it's just like, Oh, thank God I did that. Cause I feel so much better that that's done and over with. And so I even, it, Sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Finish. I was gonna say, even even if um, you didn't want to do that workout in the beginning, um, and and you, and you get it done, it's just like that's not necessarily a chore that you need that needs to be done. It's just, I don't know, for for some reason, there's some certain days where like maybe it's work. Maybe I'll have like a very stressful day where I just don't want to work out. But like, just you gotta just sack up and just get it done. And and as soon as you as soon as you have it over with, it's like. The hell was I thinking? <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> not I doing, know. not even, like, not even doing that. <laughs> that was so easy. Like I, I did yeah, that every time. So, so easy. What I was gonna say is, uh, you know, I, I got one of those uh, apps after a while, and it's really helped me um, put structure to my workout and kind of, you know, work towards something. And a lot of the times, you have to beat your personal best. Uh, but what I do is, right after I finish, it won't show you what the next workout is because each one is specifically designed to help out. You know, it knows what you did last time. So you right. can't look, I can't look on, let's say I've been doing a workout tomorrow. I can look at tomorrow's workout, mm -hmm. but if I'm doing another one on the next day, I can't do that again until I can't look at it because it's not planned yet. But right. so I cheat and I look ahead and I, I'm trying to get away from that because there's times where there's, there's certain things that I, I know I have to do in the workout. And I'm like, Oh, I, I really feel like I had to do like, you know, a hundred burpees today and, you know, as fast as I possibly can. And I look at that, I'm like, oh, I don't have that in me today. So now I'm just, I'm not looking. And then I, I just do it. And whatever it says, I just go. Because Have, uh, have you actually done 100 burpees? So you, like, kind of what it does is, is you do, like, 20. And then you do, like, 30 jumping jacks, 50 high knees, mm -hmm. and then, like, 10 sit-ups or something. And you do it as fast as you can. You take a minute break. And then you do it again. So, like, it'll, you'll repeat that, like, six times. So I'm not doing God, it all I'm, throw, I'm throwing up right now. Man, it's like I literally that and that's why I don't look at it first anymore. Cause like if I if Daunting. you see that and you're like, oh no. <laughs> that's what it is. What right? have I, so what have I got myself into here. And I'm only 18 out of 48. Like I just got I just want to check it out. 18 to 48. Like I think I'll keep this thing going because I just love the structure. I know I've, I've said that before, but um, you know, I've I've been curious, I guess. Like so when you're doing yours, like I wouldn't know what to do. That's part of the reason why I got it. So right. have, did you watch like um, you know, youtube or, or find somebody and just do routines or like you know what how do you decide what you're going to do every day um so i i actually i found a a, a pdf and I, I think it was on reddit a while ago and it was a pretty big document and it was like a hundred body weight workouts and i actually printed it all off and i put it in a binder sat on the shelf for years and years and years collecting dust and i <laughs> took it out one day and i was flipping through it because i actually started this this group um you know, this one plus one plus one group here, like just a daily workout group with, with my brother before I started, started with you and, and, and uh, other friend there, like, who just wanted to kind of share this, share this like program, if you will, or whatever, something so simple of just, you know, working out every day. But I found this, I found this document and it's just like a hundred pushups, uh, sorry, a hundred um, body, body weight workouts like no gym equipment at all. And I think like one of the reasons why I found it was I was looking for workouts that um, didn't require, you know, equipment. So uh, that's what I do. I don't yeah. have equipment. So. Like I didn't, like I said before, like I, I, I was always been the one that, that bought gym memberships and never went, mm -hmm. you know, yes. like I'll, I'll buy a gym membership and I'll go for a week. I'll go for a week and the next month. And it's like, I'm never going. I'm just paying Oh, yeah, you're, for, for, you're in for a couple nothing. of databases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a few databases for yeah. sure. <laughs> I got you on file. Yeah. So for me, it's like I, I, I need to basically work out with zero equipment and do it every day 
without buying anything. I guess for me, it was a little bit of a, of a financial thing, but yeah, if, if there's, um, the thing that, that I looked up was, was definitely body weight fitness, you know, right. doing push ups, doing squats, doing jumping squats, um, you know, planks, uh, mm. sit ups, you know, jumping jacks, all that, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, for me, it was, it was, it was really body weight fitness. Right. Yeah. yeah and that's, that's so like it, then you just structure it from there or is it like, yeah yeah like i don't have a specific set routine i just kind of like go with the flow i usually start with push-ups right. um just because my arms are going to be destroyed when i lift weights so like yes. I'll, I'll lift weights after doing push-ups so um you know i usually start out with like a 10 to 15 minute stretch uh maybe incorporate some yoga in there yoga is like huge for me right now i i've never done yoga in my life until recently and, and it's been fantastic um you're like you're liking it loving it you know uh I'll, I'll mention if you're gonna start you know taking care of yourself a little bit more you gotta take care of three things cardio take care of your heart and your breathing strength and flexibility and flexibility is huge and that comes into you know stretching doing yoga poses or whatever um I love it, man. I, I'm a yoga fan. It's I'm I'm very much a beginner. I've seen I've seen and tried some difficult yoga poses. I, I cannot do. Right. It's pretty it's pretty crazy what some some professional yoga people can do. But yeah, it's my it's, my mom uh, is a yoga instructor, and she was over first time I actually have seen her since uh, since COVID, like back in March. Um, so that, that was lovely to, just to get to, you know, hang out. She spent the night, which was great. No rush because nice. she lives about an hour away. And, uh, you know, I was saying, like, maybe we'll do um, like a Zoom or, you know, some sort of FaceTime call and she can teach me. Because I've been telling Jess, too, like, I'll do yoga with you one time. And I think so. This is where I'm at with it right now. <laughs> I, I, I haven't done it. It's kind of similar to, to working out, right? Like before you really start to work out all the time, yeah. like uh, I don't, I don't know what to do. And like, that's, so that's where I am right now. I don't, I wouldn't know what to do. I have to, you know, I do, I would need an instructor or something, um, you know, or, or find some YouTube, like 15 minute YouTube video and just be mm -hmm. like, try these, these things. But I think doing it with Jess, well, first of all, we're doing, that's more time we could spend together. But um, that's something that I've, I've told her I, I'm, we're going to do and here it's four months later into COVID and I haven't five months and I, and I haven't done it yet. So, uh -oh. you know, it is something that, um, that I do want to get on board with and hearing you say that actually is, uh, you know, is encouraging. Yeah. I mean, if you go to, I mean, YouTube is a great resource to get on that. Uh, we go to YouTube, type in beginner yoga poses for men. It doesn't even have, have to necessarily be for men. It doesn't really matter. Right, yeah. Uh, beginner yoga poses and you're just like, you're in it, man. And, and some of these poses are, are pretty crazy. Um, where you're just like, you're feeling like, I remember doing the, the beginning of yoga poses. There was like this 15 minute video that I did or 20 minute video and I'm sweating. Yeah. <laughs> At the end. And I'm just like, I'm sweating from stretching. It's just like my body's just trying to get used to this new routine I'm, that I'm, that I'm doing. But um, it's great, man. It's great to manage your pain, you know? Right. Uh, stretch out those muscles when when you're you know you're tearing them apart when you're lifting weights you, you got to stay on top of that flexibility is great for that yeah I used to when I was younger I used to be pretty pretty flexible I think and now you know the last 10 years have not like I played hockey soccer tennis you know whatever with friends football we, we play you know like throwing even just going outside like we just run around or biking around like when you're younger you just are active like it's yes just, that's that's just part of hanging out it's like you're just busy doing active things not in your but, 30s but like now 20s. like <laughs> yeah like as soon as it was 20s the whole thing was you know now you, now instead of hanging out and going to your friends and biking around town like you, you go to a patio or you you know you're playing video games or something it's not very it's not very active so like i find that i I've, I've lost a lot of my um my flexibility and yeah uh, you know that's part of the reason why I want to get, get back into it. I, I can tell now when I'm doing workouts, I'm like, Oh, like I'm watching a video of the guy and I'm like, how is he doing that with his body? Like I'm not even close. Right. You know, and, and obviously that's not good. And I don't want to hurt myself. That's the main thing. It's like, you know, the, the app actually gets you to do it's like five minutes of stretching and then you do five minutes of stretching at the that's end. That's good. Yeah. I mean, you're, if you're starting from zero, you're starting from zero, you can't yeah. go to hundred, right? Like you're, you're that's, that's a good point. 
yeah, you, you're, you're, it's all about, um, oh man, I remember when I started working out, it was like, I can, I can only do one or two push ups, right? Yeah, this today I did, I did 15 in my, in my workout, like in my routine. Um, so seeing that progression is definitely rewarding. Um, you know, you, you definitely want to start slow and take it easy don't be too hard on yourself when you can't do something that uh, you're trying to follow along and uh just keep at it right i think that's that's the important thing so a lot of the ones that i do now are like beat your personal best right and i've i've done a couple and it's like man i you know they they kind of give you a, an allotted time of like this should take 12 to 15 minutes and i'm doing it in 18 or 20 mm -hmm. and it's not being too hard on myself, but it not also allowing myself to just be lazy about it and be like, well, the next time I'll beat this for sure. Cause I took me half an hour. Yeah. Like I, you know, I still gotta, gotta push. And that, that progression is cool to see it, um, you know, in real time and kind of knowing what I, what I'm capable of at this point, you know? And, uh, and like you said, it's, you know, you, if you start at zero, like I basically did I'd never been one to work out. Um, it's cool to see like already how much more, um, stamina I have in terms of just like keeping up and, and, you know, really attacking new targets every day, uh, is, it's been a lot, a lot cooler. Let me ask you this. How's your sleep been since working out? Yeah. Has it improved? Do you feel tired when you go to bed? Cause I know for you, you're, you're a very light sleeper. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's been you know, I never really thought about it, I guess. I, I don't notice that it's better or worse, for sure. Mm -hmm. But um, I'd have to say maybe it's a little better. I find myself, it just creates more of a routine. And now I'm just trying to go to bed a little earlier. But I, I'm very much in, like, this would be a whole other episode. But I'm yeah. very much on the, like, you know, if I, if I could stay awake, life is so cool. And if I could stay awake all hours of the day, I would, but it's, I, but it's important to, to rest. And I, and I know that, but sometimes I struggle with it, but um, you know, I've, I've been trying to go to bed earlier for those reasons and to like actually, you know, recharge because uh, it's tough. But yeah. What, what about you? Do you, do you sleep better after like days you work out? Yeah. So I'm very much like you in, in the way that I, I like to stay up late and watch meaningless videos <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I go down the rabbit hole all the time. Just like, you know, just stupid shit that doesn't mean anything, doesn't improve my life at all. But I just, I don't, for some reason, I just like to stay up and watch whatever, whatever's current or whatever cool thing or whatever meme is, is happening. And mm -hmm. uh, the time will go by and it's like 1, 2 a.m. And I got to work, I got to wake up at, you know, 8.30 in the morning. So yeah. um, it when, when I do days like that where, where I'm up very late, and I, I wake up the next morning and I have like six hours of sleep or seven hours of sleep, I can feel it. Like I'm just groggy. I'm not very clear. Um, where, you know, the next, or I, might, I might even need a nap, you know, right yeah, after yeah. work just to kind of survive the day. I had a nap today. It was great. There, there you go. <laughs> and uh, so doing workouts, especially if you go hard or any physical activity throughout the day, for me, when I hit the sack, it's like I'm exhausted and I can go to sleep like that. Like I'm just, mm. sometimes it'll take me like 20 minutes to fall asleep. And, and then when I, when I do a workout, it's like much, much quicker. I can right. feel like exhaustion in my body. Like I'm worn and it's kind of comforting in a way. Like you're, you're, you're in pain. So you're just like, you're going to doze off. And go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, no. Actually, like I find that um, by, by the time I'm done my workout, I, it's pretty, like I'm pretty exhausted and mm -hmm. then I go and have a shower because these things, they, they like, they kick my butt pretty good. Um, and yeah, I'm dripping sweat. Like it's, it's so hot. And, uh, you know, I go, I go and I shower and I feel like once I get out, I feel incredible. I feel right. so good. Like just totally, you know, ready to, to do the day or like for the evening or whatever. Um, you know, it's, it's almost like a second wind that I get. And it's so crazy because I'm dead tired. And then 15 minutes later, totally relaxed, ready to go. And I would do another one, but it's like, I can't, I'm going to hurt myself. But, yeah. um, you know, that's how I feel. Like, I, I'm like, I, I can't wait to do my next one because I'm feeling really good. Thinking back to, I was like, 
um, just thinking about uh, on like the daily workout regimen. There's been a couple of days where I take, I, I'll take a break. And whenever I do like one or two days where I'm, I'm breaking, I don't work out and I work out again, I find that it's much, much harder to, to like get it started and your workout shit. <laughs> You yeah, ever had like that, a shit workout? Like, ah, oh, that workout sucked, but at least I got it done. Yeah, so that's, you know, that's kind of what I'm talking about sometimes where they like set these time limits. And I'm like, oh, I'm not hitting that one. And I just yeah. don't put my, I'm like, whatever. But I do, I know I get it done. But then, you know, it's it's just the progression that I'll see the next time. I'll just work harder at it. You know, I'll, yeah. I'll see it and be like, I can beat that. And that's the thing too, when I finish it and it's a time thing, you know, it really helps um, me mentally to get into the next workout. Be like, I, I know I can beat that kind of thing so it so it really helps uh you know try to avoid those like oh here we go again type, <laughs> you know, type moments you know so uh, i think that's that's good for that yeah speaking of time i think we're out of time yeah all right so that was uh episode four what's that episode four yeah i was gonna say, i was gonna say what the fuck episode <laughs> That yeah, was that's, episode that's four. four. Yeah, we're good at counting. Yeah, we're gonna I, I, really I do seven hundred push-ups a day. I just can't count. <laughs> God, uh, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, we're, we're recording this very. We're pretty late at night, so you know, my, sometimes my mind is uh, draw, draws a blank. Anyway, yeah, let's wrap this one up. Let's wrap this one up. Later, guys. See ya. Bye.